Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is 2021. I can't believe it. I'm so excited for this upcoming year and I hope you guys are too. Um, today is my first studio vlog type video. I thought I'd start off the year, the new year doing one of these videos and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be making a bunch of baby skirts today. I already have all my fabrics pre-cut. I'm really excited to add these new items to my Etsy shop. Um, it is currently 7.38 in the morning. Um, I don't have a lot of time to work on these. My son has a cardiology appointment this morning, so I have to drive an hour to his appointment and then an hour home and I have a couple errands to run, so I will have to finish this later. But I wanted to get as much done as I could this morning, so I thought I would take you guys along with me and uh, help me with these new products for my shop. So let's get into it. Okay, I have all of the inside seams done on my skirts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skirts that I'm working on. So I did all the inside seams on them and then now I'm going to do the bottom seam on all of them because that's the next easiest step. And then I think when I come home later this afternoon, I'll be able to do the waistband and the elastic and everything. So. I'm going to hopefully get that one seam done on all of them before I have to go. Um, so yeah, so let's see how much we can get done. It is now, oh, sorry, I know that's shaky. It is now 8.07. I did have to stop and get my kids dressed and everything. So, um, so it's been about 25 minutes. Um, so let's see what else we can get done before we have to go.
Okay, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. I have two left to do, but it's actually good that I saved these ones for last because um, I want to use a darker thread on the outside of these and I don't have any empty bobbins. Um, so I do have to go to Joann's today. I have to pick up some fabric that I did in a pickup order. Um, and then when I'm there, I will grab some empty bobbins and then be able to finish these two. These two, uh, these, what is that? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These eight have the bottom hem done. So when I get back, I will finish these two and then put the elastic in all of them and then have at least the skirts finished. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get the onesie, the matching onesies that I want with these done today. That might have to be tomorrow, but um, at least I will get the skirts done all in one day. So it is 9.15 now, so I've been working for a little bit over an hour. I have to get, I have to go get my kids ready. Um, like I said earlier, Colston, my older son, has a cardiology appointment today, and it takes an hour to get to the office. And with COVID and everything, um, Samuel can't go. It's only the patient and one parent. So I have to drop Samuel off at my dad's house and then go to the appointment and then uh, Joanne's and all that other stuff. So it's going to be a busy morning. I don't know what time I'm going to be back. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll take you guys along with me to Joanne's and maybe even the doctor's appointment. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But I will see you guys later today. You're watching The Grinch? There's superheroes on the wall. Hey, what are we, what are we doing today? Doctor Ludwig. We're gonna see Doctor Ludwig. He's gonna look at your heart, huh? What? Yeah, he's gonna look at your heart. Okay. And see how you're doing. Okay. And you got red spots on your belly from the stickers, huh? Oh. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Mommy, that's Doctor Ludwig. That's Dr. Ludwig's chair. Yeah. Are you going to be a good patient today? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to let him look at your heart? Let's do it. You're silly. Ugh. Okay, guys, I am back. It has been a crazy day. I did not expect to be out of the house this long today. It is about 3.30 now. I am so tired. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the fabric that I picked up from Joann's today. I'm super excited about it. They were having a big sale on their super snuggle flannel. So I got these watercolor dinosaurs, which I thought was really cute. This one I'm obsessed with. How adorable are these flowers? I've actually already made a baby blanket out of this with a really pretty, um, like dark teal matching minky dot on the other side. I made it for my niece. And it turned out so cute and I had to get more. My local Joann's didn't have it, but since I was going to be another town over, they had it. So I picked up the three yards that they had left um, just so that I knew I would have it. Sorry if you hear kids. My husband and kids are home, so they are uh, right outside the door. And then I also got more of this um, like woodland camp one, which I thought was super cute. So I just got what they had and I was really glad that they um, had stuff that my closer Joann's didn't have. So I picked up what I could. And then this, this fabric, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so I've been making skirts as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And with Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day coming up, I really wanted to make Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day skirts. So I got this white fabric with these red hearts. How cute is that? And then I got red with white hearts. So I just thought these would make adorable little skirts. I can't wait to make these. And then for St. Patrick's Day, I got some of this, which I also thought would be a really cute skirt. And then this one, you guys, I'm like dying over how cute this fabric is. Like, are you kidding me? And the gold, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the gold is like shiny. Oh, I cannot wait to make skirts out of this. So, and speaking of, I also got more one inch elastic for my skirts because I was almost out. So I was really glad that I got some at Joann's. So I'm going to finish up making these skirts that I started with at the beginning of this video. I don't, I, I know I'm not going to have enough time to make the matching onesies. So maybe I'll just do that in tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's video. So I will just finish the skirts today and then call it a night. So here we go. Let's get back into skirt making.
guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for coming along with me and making all these skirts. I didn't get finished what I wanted to do. I got one done because I filmed a TikTok for it. Um, so I have one done. How cute is this cheetah print? I cannot wait to make the matching onesie that goes with this. It's going to be so cute. And I'm so excited to add these outfit options to my shop. So I have the waistbands done for all of these little skirts. Um, but I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna shut it down and get off my feet. I might add the elastic to these just as I'm sitting on the couch with my family watching a movie. Um, but I will see you guys next time when I make the matching onesies that go with these. Um, again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time.